90. All right, then. Let's show them what you're made of. Welcome back to Butler on Business. Jason, let's talk a little crony capitalist. We thought we'd go to the source for one of the leading experts on uncovering crony capitalism, and we found Nick Sorrentino. He's a writer, political consultant, and editor of AgainstCronyCapitalism.org. Nick, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you guys doing? We're fine. Now, who's your crony capitalist right now? Well, uh, you know, Jeffrey and Mel's hard to beat. But the uh, you know there's a whole crew of uh, crony capitalists who've met in Washington here recently, making the case for uh, more money going federal money going to um, going to green projects. You know as Solyndra um, melts down, um, Mr. Bill Gates is making the case along with his buddy uh, Mr. Buffett uh, that we need to uh, send more tax dollars to their companies to uh, do more R and D. You know, I'm doing some R&D, but I'm not getting any money from the government to do it with. Yeah, you and me both, man. In fact, I've done a lot of R&D. Never had the government give me anything. In fact, they don't let me write it off, but for what, it's goodwill now, 30 years, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I think that's what well, they did. Is it 35? I mean, it's been a while, 35, 36 years. i, I got to write it off as goodwill over the rest of my children's lifetime, and yet they're passing out all this these goodies on the out of the public treasury. Well, you know, you got to run in the right circles. You know, you're down in Atlanta. You got to get closer to uh, Washington. You know, that way you can hang out with the right folks, and uh, they'll pull the right strings for you. Well, what do we I do? Guess you already know that. What do we do with these crony capitalists? How do we rein that in? Well, first thing you do is you educate the public that such a thing even exists, because the big problem is, you know, you, you hear lots of folks, especially on the left, make the case that. Capitalism is ruining this country, and the free market created the economic downturn that we see, um, which is patently false. The reason why we had a massive downturn was because the government and the Federal Reserve, uh, which are not one and the same, uh, but often work together, basically created this crisis that we are now suffering through. Uh, It was not a free market. People need to understand that concept. Um, and, you know, that that's the first step, and that's part of why we established against cronycapitalism.org. I think one of the things that can't be emphasized enough that you actually pointed out in a recent article is that crony capitalism is bipartisan. It's not Democrat. It's not Republican. Politicians from both sides have been playing this game for a long time. That's absolutely true, and uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Perry, Governor Perry, is a classic example of a, of a crony capitalist within the GOP. Now, are we talking um, about Merck, or was there something? To... Oh, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff. His uh, energy fund in Texas, um, you know, I mean, there are five or six different projects that he made sure were funded, and a lot of them went to his friends. Um, a lot of the money went to his friends. This is something that, you know, those of us who believe in a constitutional government, believe in small government, and that we, have re- you know, we're teetering on the edge of something pretty nasty. We need to be aware of because, you know, if we get Obama out and Perry in, you know, we may find ourselves not too much better off. I'm afraid to say. Well, do you see any At of the GO- do you see any of the GOP hopefuls as being uh, any better, any different? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, Ron Paul is is pretty much you know, the only choice we have at this point for those of us who. You know, consider ourselves free individuals who believe that crony capitalism is is a bad thing. You know, one point I, I, I always have to make uh, with regard to crony capitalism is that you know business people are business people, and they're they're not going to allow themselves to, to end up at a competitive disadvantage. So when firms engage in crony capitalism, when they start getting money from the feds, all the other businesses that don't even necessarily want to be in bed with the federal government have to move and get money from the taxpayer, or else they die. The only person I see addressing this systemic problem is Ron Paul, flat out. Well, Nick, tell us again about AgainstCronyCapitalism.org. What do you guys do over there? Well, basically,
actually, uh, we were. Uh, I founded this website along with Hunter Lewis, who is a legendary investor. Um, and uh, he and I both agreed that we uh, needed to educate the public on the issue of crony capitalism and how it is different from capitalism. Um, you know, we post uh, all sorts of interesting pieces that often kind of fall through, uh, you know, through the, you know, that you might not see in the, you know, on CNN. Um, so. Check us out. Come over to againstcronycapitalism.org, and uh, I think you'll be pleased with what you see. Well, Nick Sorrentino, we certainly appreciate your time. Againstcronycapitalism.org. I urge everybody to check it out. There's a lot of good information there. Well, it was my pleasure, fellas. Have a good day. You too, Nick. All right. Bye-bye. This is Alan Butler, Jason, and I. We'll be back to talk a little Atlas Shrugged on the other side of the break.